Hi, I'm David Ewing. I'm at Warwick for the Develop 3D Live. Good morning. Uh, will the owner of a white sports car please report it to reception? Uh, <coughs> also on the stage here, I have one of the first 3D metal printed uh, bicycles. It's in titanium. It was created uh, for MY Bicycles. The response is amazingly positive. It's been over a year now since we 3D printed it, but we're still getting requests from four corners of the globe. What makes this frame special is it's incredibly light and it's made from a high strength titanium alloy. This is a difficult alloy to work, so traditionally titanium frames are handmade. We work closely with Empire Cycles. Uh, chief designer there, Chris Williams, did all of the design work and the 3D work on the bike. We provided the 3D printing technology and expertise with things like optimization and design for process. Chris Williams had experimented with plastic prototypes and he could see the potential of additive manufacturing. We printed a seat post as a benchmark, but it was designed for casting in aluminium. Titanium is actually slightly more dense or heavier than aluminium, so we did extensive optimization to reduce the weight. Topological optimization provides a win-win solution when combined with additive manufacturing. Traditionally, it costs money to remove material. With additive manufacturing, the less material you've got, the less it costs to produce. Renishaw are in an excellent position when it comes to metal 3D printing. We've got lots of core competencies. Renishaw have been using 3D printing for decades now. We also have specialist knowledge in laser manufacturing and laser measurement. And that's not to mention our core business, which is accurate, repeatable measurement. You can find out more on our website, renishaw.com or find us on Twitter.